A while back, I showed you the iRig 2 for connecting a mixer, basically a line level device, into a smartphone. So if you wanted to bring all your high quality audio into a smartphone to take calls and record all of that through the mixer, however you're gonna record it, send it out to your computer. If you wanna do a mix minus setup so that their voice can come back into the mixer without being looped back onto themselves, definitely see the video more about that. You can use the iRig 2 to do that. And one of the beauties of the iRig 2 is just how well it's made, but it takes line level sources. So the level that's coming out of your mixer is really hot. It needs some attenuation. This will do it for you. But back then it was a 1 8 inch input into your phone. Well, iPhones these days have lightning adapters somewhere. And that lets us put our TRRS, which is the single connection that'll carry our input and our output. And so we can still put the iRig into something like an iPhone, really any smartphone should work. So this is just to show you that it's actually working. It's sending audio through the lightning adapter to the phone, and then we're getting audio back out. So it works the same, just use the adapter and you can keep recording with the Mix Minus to your smartphone. Take your phone calls, whatever you're gonna use it for. The audio is coming out of our mixer through the aux send. It's labeled FX send in this case. And all of that is going into the iRig 2, which you can see right there. And then the iRig 2 is being connected to the iPhone via the lightning adapter. I'm using Boss Chalk app to record everything and you can see the levels and everything sounds good. So that's aux out to a phone via lightning adapter. All right, and to take the audio out of the phone, which would be the caller, and bring it back into the mixer, we're simply coming out of the iRig 2 via the headphone output. We're going into a channel on the mixer, and then you can see all of that is playing. So we have sound from the phone, which would be your person on a call, and we're sending them all of the audio except for their own audio because the channel that they're coming back in on you can see the FX send, the aux send, the audio that's going to the phone is not turned up. So if we turned up their FX send, all of that audio would be going out of the send channel, which is also our microphone, is also going out of the aux send. And now if we turn that up, we'd be sending their audio back out to them, which we don't want to do. So we keep that turned off. If you're still left with some questions, definitely ask in the comments. I will answer them as fast as possible. <laughs> See you next time.